Welcome back to Projects Gaming. My name is Cal, and today we're going to be looking at the AOC SQ30G3Z, which has been sitting in our office unopened for some time. Let's see if this is still any good in 2023, as this monitor was launched three years ago. But before we start, please subscribe, hit the bell notification, and leave us a comment. Now, let's get to unboxing. Okay guys, let's go over the specs. It's a 30 inch display. The curvature of the screen is 1500R. It has an aspect ratio of 21 by nine and the pixel is 2560 by 1080. This is a VA panel which allows it to be priced more affordably. The refresh rate maxes out at 200 Hertz and 0.5 MS. It's got the brightness level of 300 CD uh, M squared and the static contrast of 3000 to one a dynamic contrast of 8 million to 1 and an sRGB 127%. In terms of connectivity, it has two USB 3.2 Type-A Gen 1, one USB 3.2 Type-B, two HDMI 2.0, one DisplayPort 1.2, and one 3.5 millimeter audio out. In terms of features, it's got AMD FreeSync Premium, it's got adaptive sync technology, black stabilizer, flicker-free technology, and there's a, bit, a bunch more, but those are the most important ones. So this is the question everyone always asks on the monitor reviews. Can it mount on a computer arm? It's compatible with a VESA mount 100 times 100 mm. So I basically just ran off the spec sheet. Now comes the question, is it still any good in 2023? It's currently priced at 2,270 Hong Kong dollars, which is about $290 US. It's about $100 US off its MRSP at launch. So the short answer is yes. It will be hard to find something similar at this price point. With similar specs from the big brands such as LG and Samsung, etc. But if you're okay with lesser known brands such as Scepter, Adeco, then there's some competition in this uh, space. Personally, I prefer AOC over the lesser known brands, but that's only because we don't have personal experience with these lesser known brands and we can't really comment too much on it. And one of the big drawbacks of this monitor is the red ac accents, which doesn't fit into our aesthetics. But if you're running a red setup, then I guess it's okay. And that's about it. That's a wrap for this uh, review, and we'll see you guys in the next one.